Put on your lederhosen and alpine hats because it's that time of year. On today's adventure, we travel to Orange County, California to see who has the best Oktoberfest. In today's match, we line up the Phoenix Club of Anaheim against the Old World Village of Huntington Beach. In round one, we will be comparing pretzels. Round two, bratwurst. Round three, beer. The Phoenix Club of Anaheim is located just off the 57 freeway, about a block away from Angel Stadium and the Honda Center. Make sure you follow your GPS as it sits around a few car dealerships. The Phoenix Club has been open for over 50 years and claims it's the most authentic and longest running Oktoberfest in Southern California. When Oktoberfest is not going on, you can still enjoy a German dinner in their restaurant. Admission to their Oktoberfest is $10 to get in this Saturday evening. Doors open at 5 p.m. Feel free to bring your own beer stein. They won't fill it up, but you can pour your beer inside for that authentic feel. You have to buy tickets for your food and drinks. You can look at the menu beforehand to figure out how many tickets you want to buy. Tickets are $2 each. There are a couple of booths that you can buy desserts and potato pancakes, but in the food court, you can get items such as Schweineschnitzel and cheeseburgers? Tempting, but we're on a mission to sample the brats and pretzels. As for the beer, we chose the Oktoberfest brew. And always remember to drink responsibly. Okay, the brat is four tickets. You can also add a side for an extra ticket if you want, making it a $10 meal. The brat had nice grill marks, but it was a little dry on the inside, so I recommend adding some spicy mustard. The roll was surprisingly light and tasty. We got the German potato salad too. This version was full of bacon pieces and had the right amount of tang from the vinegar. Overall, a nice compliment to the brat. These Bavarian pretzels are huge! I dipped mine in regular mustard. I like how they only salt the bottom half. Overall, it was soft, chewy, and even tastes great with a side of cheese. Just know that the cheese is a bit on the spicy side. Becky, this pretzel is making me thirsty! Okay, the Oktoberfest beer has a mild hop taste but finishes smooth and is really refreshing. And yeah, don't do this to your beer. Becky made me do it. The seating area inside the tent has lots of space. It's family style. They fill up fast, but it's cool that there's no reserved seating. 30 minutes before the band takes the stage, there is a free polka dancing class where you can learn the basic 10 step. Can you really start a dance with anything other than the chicken dance? I think not. There's nothing like a good oompa band to get things rolling. And this band was amazing. Here we are with the best October best chicken. <laughs> If dancing's not for you, there are plenty of tabletops for you to drink and talk with your friends. The venue offers a nice variety of homemade crafts and jewelry for your shopping needs. There's even a shooting range where you can take your best aim with these BB rifles. Now for a little segment we like to call Did You Know? Oktoberfest started in Munich in October of 1810 as a celebration for a Bavarian prince Ludwig's wedding. They invited the townspeople to celebrate and it lasted for five days. It was originally October 12th to the 17th, but it moved to about the last half of September because the weather was a little bit nicer. That is why it's called Oktoberfest, even though in Germany it happens in September. The Bavarians decided to keep partying every year and now it's celebrated worldwide with barrels of beer, huge pretzels, and authentic German food, and of course, traditional Bavarian music. 
And now we make our way to Huntington Beach for our second stop of the evening. The Old World Village is located off the 405 freeway right next to Golden West College. Admission is $15 for this Saturday night, and all the food and drinks are paid for at each booth. The price almost doubles if you purchase your tickets ahead of time for the Fast Pass line. This place is a little smaller than the Phoenix Club, so it's standing room only if you can't get a seat in the middle of the courtyard. This Oompa band was amazing, complete with authentic instruments. The only thing that's a little odd is that there's stages off to the side, not really featured in the center of the area. The cafeteria at Old World offers similar dishes as the Phoenix Club, but once again, we're after the bratwurst and pretzels. You get a side free of charge with your brat. The plate is $8. We were in luck because this batch of pretzels just came out of the oven piping hot. These salty snacks are $6 each. Okay, the winner of the pretzel competition is clearly Old World. They tasted butterier, chewier, softer, and fresher. We just wish we could have finished it. The addition of the sauerkraut to the bratwurst was a nice touch. Although the brat itself was juicier, the bread was tough. We have to award the winner of the brat battle to the Phoenix Club. So we're going to have to stop the competition right here for a second. As we were in search for a beer, the night quickly turned upside down for everyone. There was an accident. Keep moving, please, keep moving. The news reported that a transformer blew and there was a fire ignited by mineral oil. Reports were that five people were injured. Two were firefighters and one was the owner. A big thank you goes out to the staff of the Old World for acting quickly to not only guide traffic out of the area, but by also helping people to safety. Our thoughts go out to those affected by the accident. As of today, the Old World website says Oktoberfest is postponed until further notice. We hope they reopen soon and we encourage everyone to visit them once they're back. <laughs>